Hi and welcome to Cubase 4 tutorial. My name is Mickey and I'm going to show you a second part of side chaining uh, concept. This time this is going to be a different approach with the same feature and this one is applicable both to Cubase 4, SX3 and some other versions I would say if anybody's out there using. This is how we do it. I'm still using the example of actually driving the bass track with the kick. So first what I need to create is a group channel track. The configuration is here, the, the, the trick. Uh, usually the tracks are either mono and stereo, that's what 99% of actually people use. But Cubase gives us so much more then. And I'm going to go here and choose the, the Quadra. Why Quadra? I'm not going to produce anything in Quadra, I just need more ins and outs on that bus. So, Here, if I press uh, F4, VST Connections comes up, and under the Group FX tab, I see my group. I can rename it right away, call it Side Chain Base, because at the end of the day, that's what I actually need to do. I need my base compressed with a kick input. Now, that's not all. I'm going to add so-called Child Bus, or sort of uh, Sub Bus. They all end up at the stereo output. But this is sort of like having one and two and three and four input, right, to the same path. And this stereo left and right surround, and we're going to use as a three and four input. And we're going to actually send through those, we're going to send uh, a kick. All right. So next thing, before I forget, is choose some outside the Cubase pack plugin and this is something that I came across that has a side chaining option and I'm gonna just attack time here to 0, 01 ratio maybe to 1.6 soft medium brick wall so it doesn't go over and has nice features of makeup and even listening to hear actually what filters could do here right now I'm not gonna play with those maybe come back later a basic setup everything's fine and go to the base Base, I'm going to send not to stereo out, but to the group directly into sidechain base. Um, the kick, I'm going to use the auxiliary out, the so called sands, and send it to that stereo left and right, the surround ones. Turn it on, keep my pre fader, and now I can actually blend both the send, which will go to that bus to trigger the bass and my kick that goes straight to my output to my master bus and have those two sounds blend beautifully let's see if this is now happening I would say it does all of a sudden you see that um, they're like made for each other they actually work flawlessly we can definitely go back to this plugin. Let's see what other things we can do with it. I would definitely go play with the specific settings once I have my full track working. And since we're using the loops here, I love actually doing some filtering. This is something that I previously prepared. Get my drums rolling and get my roads playing. And for sake of showing actually much more instruments there, I'm gonna go and get this chill scent out. Reuse. Because the more actually sounds we have around, we get to find uh, how this side chaining feature is so uh, crucial. All right, let me hear it. All right. 
That would be all for, uh, for Mickey, um, another Cubase 4 tutorial. Let's see you next time with some other topic. In, in the meantime, uh, keep on making your music live.